A new study finds some communities feel the summer heat more than others. Next, weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso shows us how drastically the urban heat island can vary from one neighborhood to the next. It's summer, and that means it's time to sweat. As our planet continues to heat up because of climate change, our immediate environment is impacting just how much we warm. As we replace open space that's permeable and moist with roads and infrastructure that's dry and impermeable, that draws in heat. Climate Central looked at 65 different urban heat islands, including Minneapolis. They found various hotspots that are significantly impacting 68% of the 50 million residents in the study. Michael Krish and his team at the Brown Institute were able to link that disparity in warming to the 1930s practice known as redlining, which barred black families from certain neighborhoods. Historically, redlined areas currently experience hotter summer temperatures than non-redlined communities in about 84% of major U.S. cities. Um, and the disparities aren't small. In Minneapolis, less affluent neighborhoods run up to 8 degrees hotter. In Rochester, it's a difference of nearly 7 degrees. And in St. Paul, the difference is closer to 3 degrees. Extreme heat is the deadliest weather-related event that we experience. Heat is dangerous for everyone, but it's especially dangerous for those that might not have resources to cool off. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. Chris says it's important to make sure cooling centers are available in these hot spots. A uh, longer term plan should involve planting trees and adding green roofs and other green spaces. All those actions are mentioned in the Met Council's current plan to combat climate change.